was something from aliexpress but then you see you have to like let me see because i want free shipping right but then for free shipping you need to order over six something what sixteen thousand naira. so i am going to pick a couple of things which i am going to get i went for three different things i made payments and then it was successful by the way this is the 22nd of july so when you place an order they're going to send you an email so i because i got three different items like before i don't know so they sent me a message this morning that my order is ready to ship so that's why they'll keep updating you until you receive your order your order is set for shipping has been confirmed um packed then the next step is to deliver so you can just view your order and everything naturally i am very grateful for every single order i get for flourish flare This other is for Ola. She got those jewelries and then she got this jewelry bag so that she can arrange her jewelries. I'll show you how it looks when arranged. So she had ordered from us before and while I was packing this other, I was trying to see if it's going to fit inside this bag. I was trying to see if the bag, the jewelry bag and this our jewelry box can fit. But then I was able to do it like this. Let me know what you think. And then, by the way, I really appreciate your order, Ola. Thank you very much. The next order we're going to package is this one right here. This is the last one. So, yeah. I just came back from sending out those packages and I want to start my day officially. This is a new week. Today is the 22nd, I guess. Today is the 22nd of July and I want to start my day officially. By the way, it's raining. Like It has been raining since last week and this week as well it's raining so i want to start my day officially and one thing i love to do um before starting my day is to write my to-do list this is so helpful i realize that when i write things down i am likely to achieve them than when i don't write them down right and then when i'm sitting down i am more productive like it's so fulfilling so i'm going to write my to-do list i wrote some last night but i think i'm going to complete them today and i also got myself this digestive supreme digestive i have been loving this so nice i want to give it a try so nice i think some of the things i'll be doing i'll be buying more things from aliexpress i'm going to be like editing some content to post for flourish flare and then also i am going to run ads for flourish flare as well and then i think other things when i remember them i'm going to write them down but those are the major things i'm going to work on now so give it a try just try writing your goals down for the day for the week for the month but then you want to break them down like let me say for your for the month of july you write down the goals you want to accomplish for july and then each week you write down the goals you want to accomplish that week and then you break it into every day let's say for july i want to post like five videos on my youtube channel for july i'm going to like break them maybe for, for the first week i'll write out the videos i want to create like for then for every day i'll just like know okay i'm going to record this video this video is going to help me accomplish my goals better when i write down my goals and yeah i think that's it and then i'm currently reading this book the richest man in babylon this book is so good it's going to help you in terms of like investing and just basically like how to make your money work for you this book is so good i'm almost done i'm in the last chapter the last page 
Okay, I think close to the last page, right? I think I'm in 156. And then it's just remaining here. I'm almost done. But I don't want it to finish. I love this book and Udoka recommended this book. If you want to get this book, you can reach out to Olivia. Her WhatsApp will be down below so you can reach out to her to get this book. Some of them offer free shipping and that's what I like to go for. So if you're ordering for let me see over 16,000 naira, you get free shipping. So this currently is my shopping cart. I have over 14. So let me see this mic. I, there's one for four dollar sixty-four cents. I also want like this ring box ring um box right i think i want something like this wow let me see this Eleven thousand. I think for how many? For ten. Let me check the ship. Free shipping. Why are they expensive? Let me just calm down. I know this the ones I'm going to get, and I will show you guys my final choice. So finally i'm going for this one piece color gift box necklace bracelet gift chick i think it's small <laughs> then i'm going for i'm going for this one I'm going for this i'm going for this then i'm going for this one and this one for four items and then the total Subtotal is 13.04 shipping fee is 1.99 but i'm saving that so the shipping is free i'm paying the subtotal here plus here then i think it's 20 000 plus my goodness that's so much let me see if i have that kind of money but then on my phone right i think i just selected everything on my phone because it's way easier on my phone it's way easier i can see shipping fee free estimated time august 19 this one over 17 this one they're all free shipping right the same subtotal shipping fee free 13.04 okay let's click on checkout then ah uh, paid out 13 but let me see if i have such money Oh, let me see if it's good. Ah, oh, payment successful. <laughs> okay. Seriously, this is making me spend more money than required. I don't know if it's just me, but I'm usually tempted when I see free delivery. That's why I love to shop from AliExpress because of the free delivery, and that's tempting. And I know that these people are adding the money in what I am buying. I know that. And these things are little and. They're making me spend so much right in the long run you feel you're saving money but i don't know i just feel but i needed those things right i needed the mic because i will be recording a video with someone later on and i needed those boxes i think those boxes let me have them in sample first before i order in large quantity right and then it's not as if i'm getting anything i don't need i need those things so let me not feel so bad because <laughs> I'm not feeling so bad and I don't like spending in dollar, I prefer spending in naira. But that aside, let's move on to other things. Right. Yeah, so yeah, let's get back to work. So let's do a Monday like inspirational post. I think I love to do that on Mondays. So usually I would go to Canva. 
I prefer to use my phone because it's faster. And I just type in like, let me see, Monday inspiration. Inspiration. Instagram. Just keywords, not like Instagram. So then I am going to see all. Okay, so I'm just going to get like different ideas of what I want. Then I'll just choose the one I prefer. I think I like this one. But I already have one already on my phone. So I am going to use that one and that's what I'll be posting. This is the one I'm finally going for Hello Monday. And then we have very pieces in the background. We have our logo, we have flourish flare. I think I'm going for this. I'm going to post this on my Instagram. So the next day I did not do so much. I visited my mom's farm and then I created content for flourish flare like the initials which we are currently launching like the first letter of your name or maybe an alphabet that means something to you eric is coming <laughs> at the back i don't want to wait for him <laughs> So, today is 25th of July. So where I usually walk out is an open field. It's a stadium that you can walk if you want to, you can jog if you want to, but then the other groups of people like that from the club or something. So usually what I do when I come, I jog, I walk down the staircase, I also squat sometimes and it's just good and then I like to walk out every Tuesdays and Thursdays and then you can also like have a place where you can like sit down and chill and rest for a while. So this is the field, so these are the people I came with and we're done for the day and we, we're going home. Okay, so meet Sophia. going to end this vlog here but then before i do i would like to talk about confronting people how best do you think we should confront people like do you think we should keep silence or do you think we should at that instant confront the person or let her run confront the person because i feel like me as a person right sometimes when someone says something offensive i like to keep silent that's my way of doing things mostly but then it doesn't help because as a person i like to like i'm mindful of what i say because sometimes when i get angry and i say some things or i react to what someone has said right i might go back feeling sad because i've said something that maybe is not right or i've said something that would make that person it was sad or like i've said something that would make god angry at me right because i'm like okay i don't want to offend that person i don't want to offend god but now the person is offending me right how do i best confront that person is it best to keep silent or is it best to um say back to talk back right and then to claim your like to claim your stand or to claim your rights right but i'm learning <laughs> I'm learning that it's not bad to confront people. It's not bad. But then it is better to watch what you say of the words you use. Because I'm someone that maybe if I say something to somebody and I would go back and start thinking of what I said and I'll start to feel bad. Okay, maybe I've said something that would offend the person or I've said something I was not supposed to say and I don't really know how to, maybe when I'm angry, I might not use the right words so let me just know what you think because i feel like 
some people like to claim they are right at all times and regardless of when they are wrong they still like to claim they are right and i'm learning that even if i say something offensive to that person right it is to make the person understand that what he or she or he what he or she has done or is saying is not right and then god uh, god might not even be angry with me because um, I might not be the one at fault. Maybe the person might be the one at fault because I might not always be the one at fault sometimes. And most times, right? <laughs> it might even be the other person that is at fault. So let me just know what you think. And I'm currently learning that it is not bad to confront people. And conflict also is not bad. Sometimes you can get into arguments with your family members, your siblings, and then you guys would reconcile. It is to set things straight so that the next time the person doesn't repeat what that person had done to you, right? so that you don't keep on holding it in your heart and not letting the other person know what he or she has done wrong so it is not bad to have an argument with someone and it is not so bad and it is not also bad for you to confront people so let me know videos you would love to see on my youtube channel do have an amazing day always remember that god loves you and it is his will you live an excellent life